Good morning all. Welcome to Learn News. Today's uh, topic of discussion is something uh, different and it's all about microservices and uh, let me guide you through the uh, architecture of our problem today. It is uh, an order service and a payment service interface where uh, an order service is hosted along with it uh, along with its uh, database and a payment service is hosted along with its database and both are microservices and first how the flow works it's like uh, a user from the front end would be posting an order reference an order uh, request and the order request comprises of an id name quantity of that uh, of a particular uh, product and unit price and that same order and it is fed to the order service and order service would do what persist that order details into the database and it will create a payment object and it will transfer this payment object with the help of a rest template call to one of the microservice api hosted by payment service and it is a post service by which the payment request will be posted and in return a payment response will be sent out to the order service from the payment service and in the same likewise the same way while sending this payment service the details of our de all the details of the order would also be present in that payment and the same thing will be persisted in the db of this payment and meanwhile the state regarding the status of the order it will be dependent like uh, it, it depends on whether it's a third party call to gpay paypal paytm or any other payment vendor and in the in this way uh, the payment response will be sent to the order service and the order service will do what it would generate a transaction response and transaction response will comprise of certain details of payment as well as the order and that will be sent out to the front end customer so let us guide you through the code and uh, yeah here as you can see two applications are there one is order another is payment let's guide you through the order services here as you can see yeah in this package there is a, a different common controller entity repository service packages are there and here you will be able to see that the here the entity is order and in the order entity the table is table order and its primary id is int id followed by the name quantity price and many other so primarily four we have kept and uh, we have utilized uh, java persistence api in order to uh log those order details into our database and the reuse database is in h2db and this is all about the entity and the next come is uh, next what i have developed is a repository a uh, repository that will be extend interface that will be an interface which will be extending a jpa repository of type order and its primary entity i primary uh, id is integer and this repository will be utilized in the service folder in the service package in the service layer it will be like here yeah the same way once person will hit this is the controller and in the controller as you will be able to see that here once uh, a particular uh, this a uh, rest end a person tries to post an order details with the help of this order followed by this placeholder place order Uh, along with uh, the object of an entity of an order that will be posted this method will get invoked this place order an order will be placed in the repository that means order repository it will be saved and in the order repos and further what we are creating is a payment request and in the payment request there are fields like this payment request is nothing but this payment object this payment object ce also we have created another common folder where there will be an object of payment and transaction response the payment object will comprise of payment id payment status transaction id order id amount this all this amount order id will be present for will it will be present in the in our order part order service but all these attributes will be gathered from the payment now let's come back to this place order in this place order you will be able to find this payment request is there where we are setting the amount 
as well as the order ID followed by here the REST call is taking place, REST API call. This is exposed where uh, we are going for making a payment. After that, the pay same payment object is returned with the uh, details such as transaction ID and status and followed by a payment ID. Now here transaction address now we are creating another object of transaction response followed by certain details and we are sending back it, it back to the customer. Now we have to analyze the flow of this one. For that we have to go to the payment service. This is all about the order service. Now we come to the payment service. Payment service is also a standalone application and uh, here the entity is a payment object here the entity is a payment object where it's an id generated value payment id will be generated automatically payment status transaction id order id and total amount and the value of the total amount is nothing but the each um, price uh, unit price into quantity product of that now where once a rest call is uh, happening to this endpoint like payment do pay this do pay method is getting involved and in the do pay method what we are doing this pay whatever payment object is coming in the do pay we are setting the status and transaction id with the help of uuid and also we are saving this payment into the payment database payment service database now see since we haven't implemented anything like a third party call to gpay we are just randomly utilizing with the help of random class we are implementing we have implemented the success or failure based on the next boolean value we are setting it randomly we don't know that when it will come as a success when it will be failure but once if we we have created a mock framework and if we, if this framework is being utilized like for gpay and someone tries to use that they can use it easily and uh, here are uh, the repository class is also there payment is there this is the main class fine uh, now it's let's go for some hands-on here I have some I have postman say this is the ID ID is uh, 2 uh, save the product is a mobile sim quantity is save let me put as 5 and the price let me put as 50 rupees each or 50 unit price now let me post it as you can see beautifully the response has come the order de the order details has come whatever we have posted along with the amount amount is like 255 into 50 dot o and transaction id is generated and the status is failure so uh, let us come to the db so this is the order table previously we have used one data and let's uh, check it see here these are the order id this is the name of the product unit price and quantity fine likewise for the payment inter for the payment uh, service as you see there are two orders like payment id is one order id is one it was a success total amount was this and transaction id is this but for failure the transaction id is this but the status is a failure status has failed the total amount is 250 fine so in this way we have also mapped in the payment service the order ids the order service there is a corresponding de map and dependency between the payment and order and that we have done with the help of a simple uh, rest template api call so this was all about our course this was all about our today's tutorial and we have created so to summarize the entire step an order object will be passed to order service followed by payment request to the payment service third party call payment response will come from payment service to order service and a transaction response will be sent to the customer so we have created an end-to-end end-to-end -end, uh, end -end solution to a problem 
only this part is not implemented that can be implemented later on and so this is the entire structure of the microservice example for today hope you like it thanks for watching the video please give more likes and sub subscribe to my channel learn news need your motivation and uh, encouragement for uh, bringing more videos like this thanks thanks all